Salute, salute, salute on my generals, on my lions, on my real men, on my queens, on my princesses. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Chulo, lions and men. Let's get into it. Now, we're going to pick up, and I'm saying where we left off, Rikers Island Revenge Tour Part 2. Before we get into that, I want to j- let y'all know right now, I got back in contact with the Miss Jacksons. Yes, the Miss Jacksons is on deck. At least two of them is back on deck. And I got a, I don't want to say, well, direct line, kind of, sort of, with the young homie. Somebody that's working in the building where K-Flock is at. So I got a Miss Jackson that's working in the same building with Flock and you know, I, um, I don't want to get Miss Jackson in trouble. So, I'm just going to let y'all know that I got somebody in the building. Miss Jackson is definitely on deck in the building. What I'm trying to do is most definitely by tomorrow have Miss Jackson on the phone with me and, um, you know, share something that took place while Miss Jackson was literally escorting K Flop. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna hit y'all with the synopsis. K Flock got it popping. Straight out Miss Jackson's mouth. You heard? <laughs> Real talk. Flock got it popping and this time it wasn't dudes turning it up on him. This time it was him turning it up on them. Feel me? So, from what I heard, Flock got busy. So, salute to the little young homie. And um, like I said, Miss Jackson broke it down in the details, but I want to wait for Miss Jackson to say it versus me saying it. So, you know, it ain't no misconceptions and nobody gets anything misconstrued. Like, I'm live and direct. You feel me? And I definitely got an open line with a couple of Miss Jacksons. But I, I've been out the picture. Y'all already know. You know what I mean? I, I'm fighting this war right now. But I'm winning. And I'm going to stay winning. You feel me? I'm not going to let this shit drag me down, bro. You know what I mean? But for everybody and anybody that's ever been struggling with addiction, man, it's not a, it's not a laughing matter. You feel me? It's definitely something that's serious and needs to be taken serious. And I'm definitely taking it serious. Right now, my sobriety is everything, you feel me? Like, I need to stay focused, keep my brain clear, you know? Because when I'm sh- when my brain is clear, like, I just be doing amazing things. Because I'm an amazing dude, like, that's a fact. <laughs> I don't mean to toot my horn, but I am. You know, I'm a natural born leader, son. Like, I does this for real. Whether it was negative or it's positive. But I got to stay focused and I got to stay on my mature shit. So that's what we doing right now. So, yeah. Definitely be on point for that recovery to redemption. That one is going to be a little longer because the way that I want to do it is going to be something spectacular, something immaculate, something that's official, you feel me? And, and, and it's going to be coming from the heart. So I'm not going to be rushing that. Plus, I'm taking care of a lot of things right now, and I'm doing it one day at a time, you feel me? One day at a time, sometimes one minute at a time, sometimes one second at a time, real talk. So definitely be on point for that um of if everything goes according to plan i'll have that miss jackson that works with k flock not works with k flock but works in the same facility same building as flock and um we going here the, the um version that miss jackson got feel me so we got that out the way now let's get into this revenge tour so check it out man this is real talk right When I was in old boy, that means OBCC, this is Rikers Island. This is when I was fighting my case that I blew trial for and I got hit with the 12 years. When I was in old boy, the war was still lit. Kind of, sort of, not even kind of, sort of, it was still lit. So um, when this transpired, it was in the middle of the war. So I may have talked about this in some of my previous content or not, but, you know, here we go again. So basically I ended up, having an opportunity of getting at one of my ops. See, I don't really think I got into a lot of the details of this one, so 
we're going we gonna to articulate. I'm going to articulate it a little bit more. And I'm going to get into a lot of the specifics. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to breeze through it. So definitely stick around to the end. So basically, this dude called Old Dog got the best of me and Old Boy at one point. No, in another building at one point, right? And he caught me, I mean, from behind, rocked me. Boom! I saw stars, moons, the sun, all type of fucking smiley faces and emojis. It was just, it was, he caught me nice. Didn't knock me out, but it was like I was in and out, bro. And the only thing that saved me from potentially getting shot or potentially ended up having to go to the hospital was the fact that one of my bros, Pokemon, salute the Pokemon. He wasn't even going by Pokemon yet. He was going by Columbia. Salute to him. Pokemon popped off for me. And my son Chino, who was a nieta, he popped off for me also. I get into the, some of the details on this one and another um one of my previous um stories. So fast forward in that incident. You know, that's what saved me from potentially, you know, further harm, so to speak. So now we fast forward it. I'm in another building. Boom. I'm on the visiting floor. Who I see on the visiting floor, but the same individual. They got the best of me. Old dog. So what I do is I end my visit kind of short. I tell my shorty, I'm like, yo, listen. She already knew I was with the, I was with all the smoke in this, at this point in time. So I'm like, listen, one of my ops is on here. Wasn't even using ops back then. It wasn't even talking like that. So let me see. Let me keep the same lingo. At the end of the day, <laughs> got some bombero over there. That means fire, man. For those that's not bilingual. <laughs> that was like a cold word for bloods, bombero, sangre, anyway. So I'm like, yo, there's bombero over there. And it's going down, basically. So she's over there, you know doing the girl thing like yo you sure boom 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 but shorty was a little hood rat too so she kind of already knew what it was so you know i did my one too because she was bringing in you know some narcotics and all that she was smuggling in some loonies some bud so i do what i do now i boost the drugs whatever bing 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 and i'm already on cock me and I already had the strap always I stayed with it it was always on me at this point in time because it was it was real out there you know dudes was getting cut and stabbed left and right and and, and like I said the wall was on a thousand at this point so we end up um getting ready to end the visit so prior to me um getting ready to end it I end up telling her yo listen I'm gonna need you to do me a favor right and I'm going to need you to, like, basically do a little curtain for me because I don't want something to see me. So what we do is I get up, she gets up, and she starts walking towards, like, she's leaving. And I'm, like, behind her. And I mean, using her as a shield, basically. And once I got within distance to son, you know, he was talking. He didn't see me coming to the last minute. You know, when he seen, he looked at me. By that time, it was too late for him. So I did what I did, boom. I bust a move. And I mean, he jumped up to his to his credit, you know. I caught him, and I mean, hit him somewhere in, on, on the cheek. And I mean, it wasn't nothing crazy, but I definitely got him nice. It wasn't no crazy, crazy um, buck 50, but I hit him with something nice, you know. Got him, boom, he jumps up, me and him get a scrap, and I hit him a couple more times, like on the arm and on the head or whatever. Mostly those was like little, like they didn't, they didn't get all the way through, because what I had, I didn't have nothing. I had like a bubble razor. It was like three bubble razors together. Bubble razors, for those that don't know, those are the shaving razors that we get. And you break the um razors, you take the, the blade out of them, then you melt them to a toothbrush, and that's your, your little baby blade. So, but I had three of those compressed together melted on the toothbrush and then they get the job done don't get it twisted but you know it's not as reliable as a scalpel or a rug cutter or anything like that so me and him get it popping boom 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 and like i said i got him real nice on the first one you know probably like a little light 40 50 stitches but he definitely got something nice like on his jawline you know um old dog is his name light-skinned dude tall with braids He's from um, Brooklyn, I believe. So, boom, I get at him, right? 
I get my revenge, right? Boom, so to speak. Now I end up catching a ticket and all of that, and I end up getting sent to um the shoe. So I end up going to to the box, and when I get sent to the box, I end up um going over there with a bunch of um homies. The dog pound is what they call it, right? And I'm talking about all the homies. I'm talking about all the homies was in the dog pound, right? So they put word out to me to come to the yard, and one of my bros that's there, um, black, um, black Rose, salute the Black Rose. Another one called Face Off. He was LKG. Um, they was in the building too. So they was telling me in codes, right? And or oh, my boy, um, and my boy Bang, on um, BBK King. That's bad boy king. So it was like three of my official bros that I knew, all three of them, and they were shooters, right? So they like, yo, they was telling me to talk to wait to this police that was coming on and to go to the yard when he's working. You feel me? So now this story I'ma skip and I'ma save for another one because it's another incident that takes place, right? And this involves that blood dude, dead eye, and I think some other dude, dead eye, some kid called Bath. Um, 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 and somebody else, Germ, some nigga called Germ, Germ, Bath, and Dead Eye. Those are the three bloods that was in, um, in, in the dog pound, which is old boy box. When I got there, and <clears throat> along with my bros, like I told you, plus there was a couple of other people that I probably don't remember anyway. So that's a whole other story in itself, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward that one, and I'll get back to that one on y'all. But let's just say another something else pops off. It's a whole nother. It's a whole that one's like a whole box story right there. It's crazy. Dudes got just crazy. So I'll get into that one also. Put that one on reserve. Put it on ice for now. You huh? Fast forward. Now I'm back in another building, right? So this time, <clears throat> um, I'm in the four building, but I'm not at a lesson. This is my first time going to the four building, and I'm adult, right? So I'm in the four building. And I think I was in six upper or something like that. One of the houses all the way at the end. When I get to the six upper, little do I know, I've been knowing to me, like when I did that to um old dog, it was like another homie, some other blood dudes that was on the visit to seen the whole shit. And they ID'd me off the rip. They already knew who I was. So when I got the six upper, they knew old dog was in the building too, right? So... They end up shooting kites out the old dog, right? I find all this, like a lot of this stuff I find out after because like, I, like I'm going to explain, <laughs> shit pops off again with me, right? So now I don't know that old dog is in the building, right? Now the bloods that's in the house with me, you now I mean, it's not, it's not, it's like the house is in the blood house, but they got a phone, right? And it's like neutrals in there. It wasn't no, I was the only king in there. It was like maybe like three bloods in there. They had a phone. Then the other phone was just up for grabs, right? So at this point in time, if I'm correct, I may be wrong. I think I already got sentenced or I'm about to get sentenced, one or the other. So I end up, I forget I forget if I got sentenced already or if I was about to get sentenced. But either way, I blew trial already at this point. So I was already knew I was getting, I was doing double digits at this point. So when I'm in the full building... And I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm going out. At this point in time, they still let us go to the mess hall. I'm going to the mess hall and all that. And I see a couple of the bros, whatever. I salute them. I tell, they tell me to come hit the yard. Boom, boom, boom. You know how that is. Yard is mandatory. So I go, I hit the yard. Unbeknownst to me, dudes already got a plan in effect, right? So <clears throat> I don't know that old dog is out there, right? So... We out in the yard, we buy the handball courts, we chilling, boom, boom, boom. And dudes is out there, I don't see him the whole time in the yard, right? But the reason why I see him is because he was, he was, you know, staying out my eyesight. And he had a hoodie on, he was covering his face and shit. I couldn't see the dude. So when shit, when they made their move, they was doing it on the go back. When they call go back, everybody starts, you know, cluttering around, starting getting ready to go. And like, yo, my guy spider, I don't know what it is, man. I call it my spider senses. Because the shit done saved me on more than one occasion, bro, real talk. And my spider senses is going off. And it was only like me and like a couple of my bros. It was like three, four of my bros with me, right? 
and my spider senses just start going off. And I look back, and once I look back, I see him, and he like he like hid behind somebody else. And I'm like, it was man obvious. And so now I'm stopping, I'm looking, and my bro stopped. They're like, yo, Chulo, what up? I'm like, yo, hold on. And then he looks at me, he sees me. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, what up, nigga? I, I, I call him out. I seen him. He seen me, and he was like, you tell me. He came to me. Now I'm saying I ain't had nothing on me. Because I just came out the box, you feel me? And that's what I was asking the bros for when I was in the yard. Like, yo, I need a strap. I ain't got nothing. I was, I was, I ain't had no, no way to defend myself but with my hands. So, yeah, he came at me. You know what I'm saying? I took my shirt off wild quick, wrapped it around my hand. Because I seen he had a blade on him. And me and him started getting it popping in the yard. But what the crazy shit is that my bros got involved. Some of his homies got involved. And, you know what I mean? He caught me under my eye. I got mad small right here. You know what I'm saying? He caught me with something under my eye. Boom. I felt it too. Started leaking a little bit. Nothing serious. But he got me, I mean, a little, it was more like deep than it was like a slash. It's like he just caught me with, with the tip of the razor or whatever he had. And me and him get it on. I'm leaking down my face. Next thing you know, it's my bros is involved. Some of his homies is involved. There's a whole little fucking mini riot popping off now. Not even a riot, but you know what I'm saying? Because it was only like four of us, like four of them. And it was up and jumping. Shut shit down. And it just goes to show you, man. It's a small world, bro. Like all of this is going on and transpiring. And then all it was was all of us trying to get revenge. All of it started from he say, she say shit too, man. Like, you live and you learn, man. That's a fact. Because I learned a lot with that. All of that shit could have been avoided, bro. All it was was he say, she say. And it was my big ass mouth, to be honest with you. They, they, they really complicated the whole thing because of some crip dude that pulled up in the house. And I kind of called the bloods out. I'm like, yo, how type of bloods is y'all? Y'all got a crip living in all this shit. Like, I was instigating. And my mouth got me in a lot of shit during this point in time, bro. I ain't even going to lie. And... Basically, that's what happened. That's what took place. And I hope y'all enjoy that. You learn from it. You know what I mean? Smart people learn from other people's mistakes. Stupid people learn from their own mistakes. That's real. So I'm going to leave y'all at that. Y'all already know what it is, man. Hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe. Let's get it.